ever wonder how you can get N8N running on your own server in just 5 minutes? Stick around, what I'm about to show you will change the way you make automations. Hi everyone, my name is Rashid and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm revealing the simplest and proven method to save host N8N, whether you are a complete beginner or a seasoned pro. So, safe hosting isn't just about reducing costs, it offers powerful advantages like maintaining full control, ensuring privacy and delivering robust solutions for external clients. I, for instance, work with many European clients who prioritize data privacy and need to be certain of their GDPR compliance when handling personal data. So with self-hosting, you aren't relying on third-party platforms that might change policies or expose your data. Instead, you have complete control over your servers and allowing you to tailor security settings and optimize performance to meet your specific needs. And this approach is ideal for managing sensitive information and providing services to clients who demand extra privacy and reliability. And that's why I'm making this video. And before we jump in, here's a quick heads up. These platforms tend to update their user interfaces very frequently. So maybe by the time you watch this, you might not see the exact same screen as you would do now. So instead of focusing on every button or layout detail, pay attention to the overall process and steps involved. And I will try to explain these as much as I can. For the first method, let's talk about self-hosting with render. So if you're looking for the simplest and fastest route, um, render is the perfect starting point. So render brands themselves as fastest path to production. That's what we are going to see. Let's um, get started in here. So we're going to create an account. I'm going to do it with Google. I'm going to sign up with my business account. So once signed in, we need to find the area labeled web services. Click on it and then click on existing image. And here we need to find the N8N Docker image URL. So it's very simple. We're going to type in N8N Docker and we're going to find the Docker image in here. Just scroll down and here's what we need paste it in here and then hit connect and basically I'm going to leave everything as default maybe I can choose Frankfurt for the region of the server because it's closer to my place and here we can Definitely host it on the free model. Uh, for personal use, I found Starter quite enough, to be honest. If you are hosting this service for other clients, maybe uh, you should switch on the standard or the pro model. But let's keep the free model for now and then hit deploy service. So as you see in here, the deployment just finished. And then uh, we have this URL where we can open our N8N And basically we have it. Let's um, make a password. So we are creating this account. Perfect. Uh, 
and get started. In here, this is quite interesting. We are getting paid features for free. This is for um, people who are deploying or self-hosting N8N. And basically you have it. It's the same version as the cloud. Uh, you have it when logging on N8N uh, normal when you go on N8N.io, I think, yes. And then head sign in. Basically, I have uh, I have an account, I think, in here. But yeah, as I said, you have the, the same interface. You can start from scratch. You can also import your existing... Um, Templates, let's uh, try or even find templates from the community. Um, let's try importing one template of mine or one. Let's click import from file and then go to downloads, hit the button, and basically we have this. AI agent, for example, I implemented for a client. Um, I'm going to make another video about it. But yeah, essentially, um, this is how it works. Uh, we get the link from um, from render. I think I closed the tab. Let's go to render. Dashboard. And yeah, when you click on here, N8N, you have this URL, and you see if this is live. You can upgrade your instance uh, instance directly in here. Let's hit, for example, starter. Oh yeah, you need to update your billing, uh, and then you can um, upgrade your plan and have more uh, compute power to um, when you have more than two or three running automations I recommend uh, beginning with the starter package or even the standard if you have if you are a power user so yeah